Welcome! This video is about intermolecular forces. We've already seen the first force, the weakest force, London dispersion force. This video is going to be on our second intermolecular force, dipole-dipole forces. There are some key words that go with dipole-dipole forces. First of all, in comparison to London forces, a dipole-dipole force is permanent. So it's not coming and going temporarily. It is a permanent, all the time there force. Next key word is polar molecules. The dipole-dipole force occurs between the uh, po one polar molecule and a second polar molecule. Now, this polar molecule has a positive end on the left and a negative end on the right. When this polar molecule approaches close, what end do you think this is going to be? The positive or negative end of the polar molecule? I hope you said the positive end. If so, you're correct, because opposites attract. So this end's going to be positive, while this end is negative. And there is a force that occurs right here that little orange dotted line there. This is an attraction between the two molecules that are polar. The delta minus side is attracted to the delta plus side of a second molecule. This attraction is the force, the dipole-dipole force. And again, it is permanently there all the time and you have to have polar molecules. Here's another picture of several polar molecules, all lined up with dotted lines showing the force. We have a delta plus to a delta minus, 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 a delta plus to a delta minus. So you can see it's always opposites that are being attracted. Opposites attract at the ends of the dipole. And the force again is between molecules. And in most samples, there are billions upon billions upon billions of molecules. Uh, this is an example of a liquid, and the little molecules kind of rotate around each other, uh, but they like to stay lined up to where opposite ends are attracted to each other. Now here we have a mystery molecule. Right here, if you can't see, is a little bit negative. So what end is going to be here, the positive or the negative? What would be attracted? you said positive, you are correct. So this would be the little bit positive end, so we would get that attraction right there. Okay, again, opposite ends of the molecules attract, and you have to have at least two molecules in order to have a force, because forces are between molecules. Another thing that's interesting to notice in liquids, when you run your hand through a liquid, such as water, do you think you're breaking the molecule in half when you do that? Or do you think your hand is passing through here? Okay, you're right. You're breaking up the forces when you do that. You're not cutting molecules into pieces. You're just cutting through the forces when you run your hand through water. Now let's think of something else. What about when you boil a liquid? What are you breaking then? If you said breaking the forces, you are correct. We do not break bonds when we boil a liquid. It's simply going from the liquid state to the gas state. The molecule stays intact. What we're doing is pulling apart those forces, such as dipole-dipole forces. And we're breaking those forces when we do phase changes. All right, thanks for uh, paying attention to this video. Next one up is on hydrogen bridging.